So you know our method, and and I think um it's very straightforward method. Um, it does not require too much. Uh, basically, you have to read the last portion of the question, which is the asked, uh, and then that will take you to the case. Um, the case is the rest of the question. Then you go for the buzzwords, so things that should be ringing in your ears, okay? And then after you get your buzzwords, you rewrite it the question so that you can take command of it. You have to take in charge of the question. Taking in charge of the question help you um, focus more, you know. Um, then after you rewrite it, um, this is where you 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 decide to bring in your content. When you rewrite it, you find out what is the question as exactly asking me. Then you make a choice. Making a choice require you to go start from the top, look at a question, com in, in compare it to your you rewrite and your content. And if you meet that criteria, you pick it. You don't compare anything. You don't move until you make a decision. Going down to find another answer that is more favorable to you will make you start thinking and comparing answers. So we don't want that. And then after you make a choice, you move on. You never go back and then see if you want the answer right or not. Your first instinct is always the best. So whatever you've decided on, based on your rewrite and your content, let it be. Unless you want to change it, but it, when you start changing answers, there's a problem. So make the first impression, and then you move on. So that's how we um, we do our satire here. So for this question, read the last portion. So this is a selector that applies. Which of the following require further teaching? So we got to do some teaching. That's our asked. So our acts require some further teaching, right? A client with known ulcerative colitis. So that's the case, okay? Was prescribed by uh, inflamed So these are immunomodulator. Even if you don't know what it is, you know that ulcerative colitis is some form of inf inflammatory disease. You see how you can break it down. You don't have to know the medication, but it's a form of inflammatory disease. And patients who have inflammatory disease usually take medication to lower the inflammation or bring down the, the immune system down so that the inflammatory disease can uh, relapse. And therefore, this is one of the medication. The other way to remember it is to look at the last thing. They have MAB at an end. Or... Uh, Immunomodulators have like a map and the linear map. They all have map at the end. So, patient, that's our case. Patient is on uh, immunomodulator. Which one needs further teaching? So, your buzzwords, we already did it at the linear map, teaching, and ulcerative colitis. You see what I did? Only three words. Try not to select more than four words. If you're selecting four, five, six words, then you don't understand the question. We, the idea of the buzzwords is to rewrite a question on our own. So three words or four, three to two, four words are okay. So we basically, ulcerative colitis on influencing map, we need to provide teaching. Then you ask yourself, what do teaching would I have to provide for a patient that is on influencing map? And then I need to teach them. Usually, if it's just ulcerative colitis, yeah, you can teach them other things about the disease, but they've given you another thing. So all the focus should be on inflamed So it's an immunomodulator. So the patient immune system is down. This is the same question they will ask you um, if the patient is, the, is getting chemotherapy. So it will be neutropenic. So chemotherapy patient Maybe the same precaution you have to take. Somebody is getting chemotherapy, immune system is down. So you want to prevent infection as much as possible. So that's the content. Prevent infection in this patient. That's all. So I'm coming. I will make sure my vegetables are cooked. Yes, they shouldn't eat any raw vegetables. So this is appropriate. So there's no need for the teaching. I hate, I hate the injectable flu, okay, vaccine. 
that this year I will get it. Yes, the oral vaccine, the flu vaccine um, is live vaccine. So these people shouldn't get live vaccine. And so the injectable is better. It's not a live vaccine. So this is acceptable. So it's not require uh, intervention. The other vaccines that you should worry about is MMR, varicella, mumps, and measles. They are um, live vaccines. I will reschedule my trip to theme park this year. Yeah, theme park is like outdoor, Disney, going to Florida, everywhere. No, you should avoid crowd as much as possible. So this doesn't need intervention. I will not drink from water fountain for a while. Yes, there may be some bacteria or and disease in it if it's not cooked, especially if you you immunocompromise. Sometimes you can have organisms and that can get infected. So she shouldn't the patient should not do that. I have bought a couple of flowers and ready to make my pouch pouch flourish with flowers. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Gardening is not good. So they shouldn't be gardening. They get something we call tosoplasmosis. So this is not right. So this one need teaching. I will need a negative PPD test before I can start the medication. Yeah, this is right. So because the medication is lowering your immune system, if you already have a positive PPD, it will activate it to become active TB. So we don't want patients who have PPD positive to start this medication. So this is one of the priority. I can set this question and put it as a priority action. You will need a negative PPD before we put you on all those MAB, inflicimab, uh, adalinimab before we can let you start those medications. So that's appropriate. So the only answer that we could choose is number five. Okay, so let's move, move on. The next question, um, I think you already talked about it, but I just want to emphasize something, how content and just using the method, make it easy. You just have to find what the question is asking and stick with it. Don't get confused. Stick with your content and use it as you move on because you already designed it. So select all that apply. We read the last question. Which of the following require immediate intervention? That's our ask. We got to intervene. A client with recurrent seizure was being monitored in the ICU. Which of the following require immediate intervention? So case is a patient who is having seizure all the time. Um, so um, which of these require intervention? So our buzzwords, you see, is only two things, recurrent seizure monitored in addition to intervention. So three, you see, that's all. All these three lines, I don't need to worry about it. You have a recurrent seizure, you being monitored, which one need immediate intervention? Then you tell yourself, what is the key thing about this? If somebody is having seizures and is being monitored, what do you do? So there's a pre thing you do, pre planning, during the seizure and after the seizure. So this patient already had a seizure, okay? He's not having seizure anymore. So you got to plan in case they have it again, you already ready. So that's when you rewriting, that's the, your, 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 your thinking right there. Patient already had a seizure. Now I need to plan in case they have another one, then I can take care of them. So that's all. You take this information and you go and use it for the each answer choice. So you don't compare. So I need to get ready for another seizure. So I need to protect the patient um, when they, they have in seizure. Oxygen and suction at bedside, yeah, so that they don't aspirate. So I should have this available, therefore I don't need intervention. Soft restraint in the leg to prevent fall. You should not restrain any seizure patient. Never, 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 absolutely negative. 
So this one need intervention. Both bed rails were was hub and padded. Yeah, you got to raise both rail up and pad them. This is not a true restraint. It's because you're protecting the patient. Um, so this is right. Phenotype ordered by the PCP. So this is a tricky one, okay? This seizure medication is for maintenance, okay? And it can take like six weeks for it to be therapeutic. You can check my um, pharmacology lecture. I did one lecture on this recently. And so you have to know that this medication cannot be used in acute seizure. Somebody who is keep on having seizures, no, we don't give them an infinity. We will give them um, a lorazepam, so something that is short-acting benzos. The patient will get a benzo. So in your answer choice, look for a benzo in the patient who is actively seizing or getting recurrent. This medication is taking a while before you can get into the system. So this one, we got to question it and intervene right away. Doctor, you need to change your medication. The tongue depressor at bedside in case of seizure. Well, no, nothing goes to the mouth. Nothing, absolutely negative. If they seizing, let them do that. You know, anything you put in their mouth, you cause them to aspirate. So we need to intervene. Take away the tongue depressor. Don't use it. Bed at the lowest level. Yeah, in case they have a seizure, they don't fall and injure themselves. So we have two, four, five. And as you can see, what I did, these sort of questions are nothing. Okay, is it all the content that you know? They just put it together. And if you look at the lecture that I did a couple of days ago on the seizure, it's the same thing I said, that I put it together and I changed some words on it to look like fancy question. It's not. It's the content you know. What you do when somebody um, he, 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 he is going to have a seizure, what kind of preventive measures you make. You just have to interpret the question and know exactly what they're referring to. That's why breaking it down to what is being asked, what is the case, what are the buzzwords, then you can rewrite it into your own thinking and take the rewrite to make a choice. And when you make a choice, you move on. And that is the method for killing and dissecting SATA, no matter what. So that's what we have. And the last question, um, I also want to illustrate something. Sometimes they don't teach this, uh, but sometimes you may see it in your um, in your test. They can ask you that. Um, so you, you can see what I mean by that. This is also a select or apply. It's not, it's a concept level, but you see how the concept is a little bit different. So the, the SATA can take any form or shape, but if you stick with the method, you'll be able to break it down, no matter how they trick you. It's the same thing, select or apply. Which of the following teaching require further intervention? So we need further intervention, okay? Teaching is that was a, uh, provided was not appropriate. A 50-year-old client inquired from a, a caring nurse about what physiological changes are expected with old age. So usually you don't see these kind of questions, but um, I was doing the fundamental um lecture and I wrote it and I said, oh, this may be a good, this afternoon I did some questions and I, I said, this would be, um, I did some video and then I, I thought about this question, like this would be a good one because you got you have to know this for basic care and managed care portion of it, safety uh, about the elderly patient or physiological adaptation. Anyway, this is what we have. So our case, we know, and our buzzwords is physiological changes in the older patient. So what do we expect? This is the way I see it. I make it simple for you. As the older patient, when you're getting older, everything goes down, no matter what. The only thing that try to goes up is the body fat. Fat usually increases and the distribution changes. 
back. Everything goes down. So those two words, you take it with you and you answer any question in the early. If the, if the description look like hmm, a, it doesn't sound like a, a normal to you and it's decreasing, yeah, right. If it's going up, yeah, I will not choose it. So that's the way. There's so many things. There's system. There's the body system. There's respiratory, cardio. Yeah, they, they can trick you with everything. Break you down into little things. In the early, the body changes and everything, organ system decreases. The only thing that try to go up is the fat composition. So you expect the libido, yeah, sexual practice will go down. That's why they have Viagra, right? Um, slender pill because there's erectile dysfunction. We get constipation. So you don't need teaching for the constipation. Yes, the gut slow down. So this is done to illustrate so many things. You just have to apply what you know. You know this is not something you don't know. Don't get scared with all these long words. You know, constipation means things has gone down. Urinary retention and agency. Yeah, it, they retain the urine and they have to pee more often. I don't need intervention. A trophy skin loss of body air and thick nails. So I try to get you all the information as much as possible. Um, all of them look like it's going down, not it's going up, right? So I'm choosing you, you negative. More fat than muscle. Yeah, your body fat uh, increases total, total body fat, but your muscle, they lose the, all the muscle mass, that's why and uh, the body gets skinny. Sometimes the certain areas, certain areas get bigger. Um, the same uh, um, thinking. What did I tell you? Everything goes down except fat. So as you go down, don't change your mind. If you decide about a certain content to use to answer the question, stick with it and evaluate each answer choice based on that content. We said everything is going down. So every answer choice, we are not comparing it to the other one, but we are looking at it and say, hey, are you going down or going up? If you're going down, then I'm picking you as a wrong answer. If you're going up, then we need a federal intervention. And so this go up and this go down. So respiratory rate, oh, I did not put anything. So it goes down, more fat. So probably this is supposed to go up and then this is supposed because this is normal. So more fat than muscle is more normal. And the respiratory rate, and I'll put it up. So the question was no, but that's the, in the point, that's the things I want to illustrate that. In the older patient, all physiological adaptation changes is towards decline. Um, the only thing that increases is more body fat. This is the, End of the um three questions. I just want to review with you guys. Um, you can see how I work through it. That is what this select or that apply is going to be. Don't be afraid of them. Um, I, I've said it before. Adapt and cleanse is the home of select or apply and prioritization. And those two things, if you get hold of it, the reason why I keep on emphasizing on them, if you get hold of them, the exams become normal exams you know what to expect you are no you feel confident walking into the room you know because you know they're coming um i believe the more set of questions you get they like you or that you passing so i'll make a video about that in a, in another video about that issue and i can illustrate that fact anyway take care of yourself keep charging as always and all the best of luck Good luck. And then invite friends, um, share the video, subscription, uh, so that people can subscribe. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.